Good morning, everybody. Hi there, Kelly Dunlap here, Purple Status Unique presenter. Hi there. How are you? Welcome. Okay, so I'm using a new stand this morning, so I think I'm going to have to um, lower it. So while you guys are jumping in, I am going to lower this. Hi there. Good morning. Welcome, rebroadcasters. My name is Kelly Dunlap. I'm a Purple Status Unique presenter. If you're not sure what Unique is, it is a cosmetics company. I'm a retired personal trainer, and what I do is I give back three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Very basic workouts, so if this is your first time joining, please watch, see what I do, then maybe watch the rebroadcast later and jump in, or join us on Friday. So while you guys are all hopping in here, I'm going to lower this so I can um, get it to a good height there. Okay, perfect. Alright, let's see how yeah, this is. Okay, so we're just kind of playing around with this height here. Okay, perfect. Yes. Hi there, good morning. Alright, let me see if I like that. Okay, I think that'll work. Awesome. Okay, once again, if, the, if you're just joining, my name is Kelly Dunlap. Hi, how are you? My name is Kelly Dunlap. I am a unique status, uh, unique purple status presenter, and I am able to, I retired from being a personal trainer. Hi there, yes, what's your question? Oh my gosh, it's gonna be a black party this morning. Holy moly. Okay, let's get rolling. We're gonna get warmed up here, guys. If you have dumbbells, Grab some light dumbbells. Hi there. All right. Welcome. Awesome. Well, glad to have you guys here this morning. My dogs are with me as well. They always are. Awesome. Wow. From Russia. Holy moly. All right. Let's get rid of some of these crazy people. Doing well. Okay. Let's go ahead and march it out, you guys. Let's get this party started. <sighs> Okay. <laughs> All right, let's get going, guys. March it out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. We're going to step it back, step, and back in. Step, back in. You want to get those arms up, guys. Arms up. Oh, you got it. Now you're going to double that pace. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven. Now slow it down again. One, and two, three, four, five, six, seven. Speed it up. Last time. Eight, seven, six, five. We got dogs are going crazy. <laughs> Heel things, guys. Heels. We're just warming up here. You got this. Let's do eight more. Eight. Seven. Get those arms going. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Now we're going to do squat and lift. Down, up, down, up. You got it. Now I'm not going like all the way down. I'm just going halfway. Okay. We want to move quickly. All right. You guys make sure you subscribe to www.thefitwhitegale.com so that you can get my weekly email so that you get stuff, recipes, and things like that. Let's do one more and march it out. Six, five, four, three, two, and last one. Okay, grab your dumbbells, guys. We're gonna do lots of reps today. Maybe a little bit of um, hit, but go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Okay, now what I want to do, we're going to work a little bit on balance. So I'm going to step back here a little bit. Hopefully my dogs won't knock me over because they're over here playing. One foot out and we're going to hold it out here just like this. Can you see me okay? And we're going to pulse and lift it slightly just like that. I kind of feel like my camera needs to go back just a little bit. So you guys keep lifting. I'm going to move my camera back just a little bit. Keep lifting guys. Lift. Lift. You got it. Keep going. Eight, seven, I'm back. Six, five, that's better. Four, three, two, 
<laughs> eight more. Look at my dogs. Eight. This is crazy. Seven. Normally they could give a crap. Six. Five. Four. Three. You got two more, guys. Two. Feel that burn. And balance. Awesome. Okay. We're going to do a 30 second. Um, let's do a squat. Let me show you. You're going to go squat, pivot back, squat, pivot back. Okay. So we're going to do 30 seconds of that, right? Okay. Here we go. Let's do it. Squat, pivot, squat, pivot, squat, pivot. You girls, squat, pivot. Squat. I think I'm going to have to take them out in the other room here in a minute. Squat and pivot. You got it, guys. Squat and pivot. Keep going. Squat and pivot. Keep going. Squat and pivot. Squat. You're almost there. Awesome. Okay. Pick up those dumbbells again. I'm going to get these girls out of here. Okay, come on. Go, 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 go. Okay. Sorry about all that chaos. Grab your dumbbells again. Okay, back to the shoulders. Same thing that we did last time. Put your one foot out. Lift up. Here we go. I'll thank you. Lift and hold it up, guys. Pulse it. Lift one foot up. Three, four, five, six. I got one foot up. See that? Good. Eight, nine, ten. You can do this. We've got 24 of them. Woo-hoo! Perfect, guys. Almost there. 19, 20, four more, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Okay, make sure you guys have your water nearby. You want to make sure that you're staying hydrated, okay? So grab your water whenever you feel that you need it. Awesome. Thank you for sharing. Okay. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Squat, pivot back. Let's do it. Squat, pivot, squat, pivot, squat. Just pivot on back, guys. Squat, pivot back, squat, pivot. You can do it. Now this kind of a movement, this is kind of like, I like to throw in movements that are typical movements that you would do during the day. So for example, let's say you're, you know, reaching over here, doing your dishes, then you're over here grabbing your kid or your dog or whatever. Okay, grab your dumbbells. All right, moving on. So we're gonna do two sets and then we're gonna go to a different exercise. Now, today I'm using very light weights. We're doing higher reps and we're doing some more isometric work. Isometric work, for example, we're holding in one place more than just moving. You see? Okay, so isometric is kind of like a yoga. In yoga where they stay in one spot for a while, that's isometric work. Muscles are still working, but it's a different type of contraction. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and back in. So we're scooping out, pulling back in, scooping out, good morning. Scooping out, pulling back in. Scoop it on out and pull it back in. Got that? Okay, now we're already about five or six in, but what I want you to do is you're gonna add a rear lunge here, okay? If you can't do like a full rear lunge, then what I want you to do is just kind of do a tap back. So that would be like a modification, okay? So, back. All right, you got this, guys. Stay strong. Your upper body is gonna burn quite a bit today. Okay, all right. Okay, don't forget, I wanna mention again, make sure you go to www.thefitwhitegal.com. I'm gonna have an email coming out here. Lots of really good stuff. Keep it going. Oh, thank you. Keep it going, guys. Two more, woohoo, and last one. Awesome, okay. Now, let's do a little cardio blast. What I want you to do is we're gonna do speed skaters. I'm gonna step back here. I'm gonna show you. Here's a speed skater. All right, 30 seconds. You can do this. Let's do it. Perfect. You could even increase your range of motion. Okay. You could modify it by 
not hopping, okay? So you have options here, guys. Like I said, I always keep it very, very basic. This is a great workout for if you need a lunchtime workout, if you just need that extra little pick-me-up first thing in the morning, or if you're just getting started. Okay, Whew. now see how I am a little breathless. This is where you want to be. This is considered a talk test. So if somebody wanted to have a conversation with me, I'd be a little bit annoyed having to talk to them. So that's the intensity level that you want to be at, okay? All right, here we go, guys. We're going back to our scoop up and back in with our rear lunge. All right, here we go, let's do it. Good. Perfect, guys. You got this. All right. Whew. Perfect. And you don't have to have weights. You could do this without weights as well. I wouldn't recommend heavy weights with this particular, these particular moves that I'm doing right now. But you know, you you go with what you feel challenged with. But you never want to sacrifice form. Okay? So if your weight is so heavy that your armor is only going right here, that's not that's not good. You want to reduce the weight at that point so that you're getting a good um, good form. Awesome! Great! Good! Keep going, guys. Let's do it. Four more. One, two, three. One more. Woo! Okay. Perfect. Time for those speed skaters. You guys ready? 30 seconds. Let's do it. Reach. Hop and reach. Keep those abs tight, guys, at all times. And you could go faster than, than me. You know, this is, I'm just giving you a guide. This is just a toolbox for you, okay? If you feel that you can go faster, you do it. Okay, push, push. You're doing great, almost there. Good work, okay, nice. Now, we're gonna move on to another move. All right, now, once again, what I'm doing, if you're noticing a pattern here, I'm giving you one upper and then the lower. So we're going upper, lower, upper, lower. I'm a big fan of that. Okay, now, we're going to do triceps. Now, get ready to burn, because what we're gonna do, I'm gonna turn my palms up, okay? Do you see that? We're gonna turn them up, we're gonna come down to a nice flat back, and what you're gonna do is you're going to just pulse it up. Okay, see that? Hold it. You got this. Let's do about 10 more. One, two, three, four, five. You got this guy. Six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, now we're gonna go down on the floor and do mountain climbers for 30 seconds. If you don't know what a mountain climber is, let me show you real quick. Come on down here, you're gonna be just like this. Now, you wanna try and make sure you keep your back nice and flat when you do that move, okay? Just think about your abdominals. You are gonna get some isometric work. You are gonna be burning in those arms because we've already done some work on that. So we're kind of double hitting that. Here we go, let's do it. Pull those knees in. You can do this, guys. You can go faster. You can slow it down. Whatever you need to do, okay? Just get it done. Almost there. Keep breathing. Nice job. You feel that burn? Oh my gosh, that's good stuff. Okay, now, take those weights back up again. We're gonna go back into the tricep. Okay. It's an, it's an, oh, like an isometric pulse that we're doing, okay? Here we go. Flat back, lift, lift. Awesome. Also guys, keep out, 
keep a lookout, excuse me, for my scopes. My best friend and I were doing a 30 days to success. Um, she'll be on today. Her name's Heather Hermes, so make sure that you're following her. You can find her in my follow list. And then I'll be on tomorrow. And we just talk about um, little tips and things for yourself personally, and if you are in a business like we are with Unique. Four, three, two, oh boy, I felt that. Okay, come on down. 30 seconds, mountain climber. Let's hit it, guys. Ready? Let's do it. Get those knees in. You can go faster or slower, whatever you need to do. Almost there, come on guys. Just stay focused. Nice work, come on up, let's get some water. Now, ask yourself this question. How is my intensity? Do I find myself a little bit breathless? Okay, do I need to step it up a notch? Do I need to move a little faster? Do I need to go a little slower? Okay, get some water. Okay, now, so we did a little bit of bicep, a little bit of tricep, a little bit of shoulder. Now let's do something for the back, all right? I always wanna try to make sure that we hit a little bit of each body part, okay? So what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna have you go into, you're gonna do a sumo squat, you're gonna pivot down, turn, pull, then come back. Make sense? So it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, basically, if you want to count it down. So we're going to do, I don't know, maybe like 10, 12 of those. Just make sure that when you do that sumo to a pivot, see here, both of my toes are facing that direction. Otherwise, you're going to hurt your knee. So you got to be real careful. Okay, here we go. Down up sumo, hit a turn, down, pull, come back. Got it? So what we'll do is we'll alternate. So we're gonna go down, up, turn, pull, and back. Sumo, hit a turn, down, pull. Now see how I'm keeping my knees bent when I do that pivot? I'm down, I'm working. I want those legs working. That's why I'm keeping them bent when I'm doing this position, okay? Here we go. Sorry about that. Don't wanna pause your workout too much, but it's important that I make sure I explain all this stuff. Pull. So this one is a little bit more involved, okay? Pull up, woo! That little extra bend in there is giving you just that little extra leg work. Okay, nice and controlled. Turn it, up, pull. And again, if you want a little bit more weight, like what I could do is I could hand over that dumbbell while I'm, you know, alternating my sides there, right? See, I have single dumbbell, hand it back over, turn, pivot, Pull up, okay? Perfect, let's do one more on each side, guys. Pull, turn, last one. Down, up, hit the turn, reach, pull, good. Okay, now I've got a new one for you. We've done sumo squat. This one's slightly different. This one's called the goblet squat. You're gonna take your dumbbell or just take your hands what you're gonna do is we're gonna go down and we're gonna pulse it for 30 seconds. You guys ready? Here we go. Down. Pulse. Hold this like a little goblet. Woo wee! You're gonna feel this, guys, so stay strong. Almost there. Come on, halfway. Keep your head, neck, and shoulders lifted. Keep those abs nice and tight. Four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, come on out of that. 
That one is a toughie. Get some water, stay hydrated. Let me check the time, see where we're at. Okay, we're doing real good on time. Now, let's go right back into that. Feel good, huh, Caroline? Crazy shit. <laughs> okay, let's shake that out a little bit. All right, now let's go back to our uh, sumo pivot row. Okay, toes out, guys. Here we go. Sumo, uplift, turn it, and pulse. Again, sumo, turn it, bend those knees, pull. This one's nice and controlled, remember? Down, up, squeeze that butt, turn, pull, come back to the center. Down, pull into those inner thighs as you're doing that sumo, squeeze that butt. Turn, pull. Down, up, half tight, turn, pull, okay? Now when we're doing that one arm row, you really wanna focus on keeping that lat muscle right here nice and tight. We want that, you know, that body or that back, that bra, back fat that us women get sometimes. I know, especially after I had my kids, I was like, where did that come from? Oh my God. Ooh, right? Turn it and pull. You can do this, guys. Turn it. Pull. Let's do one more on each side. Down, up, pivot. Pull it. Last one. Down, up, turn it. And pull. Okay, are you ready? We got another set of the goblet. Let's do this. Get nice and low, hold your arms out. Let's go. Pulse it, guys. Head, neck, and shoulders are lifted. Your butt is nice and low, you're pulsating. Keep the weight in the heels. You don't wanna be on your toes. Keep your abs nice and tight. You are officially halfway there. 15 seconds to go. You can do this. See, I'm watching the clock intensely as well. Four. Three, two, and one. Woo! Nice work on that. Good job. Okay, let's see where we are. Always want to check in here. Okay, how are we feeling? Are we keeping an eye on our intensity? Are we where we need to be? Remember, your workout is what you make of it, okay? So you want to make sure that you are up in the intensity if you're not where you where you need to be, like how I'm breathless, or if you are feeling dizzy faint or nauseous, just, you know, step it down a notch. Okay, here we go. Now let's do a little bit of cardio, guys. All right, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Let's put that right foot in front. We're gonna jab, jab, jab. Sorry guys, my alarm was going off. I don't know why that happened. Here we go. Jab, jab, if you lost me for a second. Come on guys, eight more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Jump rope, march or jog, whatever feels good to you. Hey Laura! <laughs> All right, five, we're gonna pivot. Now we're gonna put that left foot in front, okay? Eight, seven, now we're gonna do the same thing on this side, we're gonna do some jabs. Three, two, here we go. Jab, jab, jab. Keep it going. Come on, guys. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Let's do eight more, guys. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two. All right, jump rope, march or jog. Six, five, four, three, two. Now, let's put that right foot back in the front. Now what I want you to do is we're gonna do a jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. All right, pick it up, jab, cross. You got it. Four, three, now bring your right knee in, left, kick back, right, left. Okay, I'm gonna turn to the side so you can kinda see what I'm doing. 
Now you see when I'm kicking back, I'm really dropping those shoulders down. Keep it going. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and jog march or um, jog march or what was the other one that I said? I can't remember. Just move. Okay, left foot. Three, two. We're gonna do the jab, cross, jab, cross, jab, cross. Let's pick that speed up. Here we go. Jab, cross, jab, cross. You got it. Four more. Four, three, two. Now we're gonna do a left knee and then a right kick. Here we go. Left knee, right kick. Or, I wonder if that is opposite to you. I need to pay attention to that. Is this your right leg? Let me know when you're facing me. I wonder if I need to talk like I'm, in, you know, like I'm mirroring you. Four, three, come on guys. Two, one, jump rope, march or jog. It was the jump rope, I can't remember. <laughs> All right, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. I'm gonna back up, because what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some shuffles, shuffles. This lateral movement is really good for your knees, just like I have bad knees. So this movement is really something that if you are 35 and over, Lateral movement is really something that you need to work on to keep those muscles surrounding the knee strengthened. Let's hit some punches. Here we go. Punch. Punch. Just little punches. Got it? Four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Knees up. Here we go. Pull. Pull. Really lift those knees up. Keep those abdominals tight. Almost there. Six, four, three. All right, now let's cool it on down. Nice work, guys. You did good today. I know I got a nice little sweat going. All right, just kind of let that heart rate come down. You want to keep your arms down. Just kind of let them hang. Inhale to the nose. Exhale to the mouth, a couple more. One more time, and exhale. Good work. Okay, feet apart, <clears throat> bend those knees slightly. Right shoulder goes to the left, look up to the ceiling. You're gonna feel a nice stretch in that back and in your shoulders. Switch sides, left to the right, look up. Come back to the center. You're gonna round it up one vertebrae at a time. Oh, that's like one of my favorite things. Okay, you wanna roll those shoulders back. Whew, four, three, two. Bring one arm around, press it in and then press it down. Compress that shoulder down. Open it up, press it in, press it on down. And then you wanna reach behind, interlace those fingers and open up the chest and shoulders there, guys. Nice job. Okay, take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, one more time, inhale. Exhale, whoo. Well, I hope that felt as good to you as it did to me. It was a good, energetic start to my day. Make sure you guys stay nice and hydrated. Make sure that you drink some good lemon water. Like right here, I've got my lemon water with some dandelion tea and a little splash of cranberry. Make sure you keep your thoughts positive and that you have a plan for what you're eating today. So you wanna make sure that you don't get too hungry and that you're just reaching for garbage or pulling up in some drive-through. <laughs> you are very welcome. Hey, Lauren, you are so welcome. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure that you are subscribed to www.thefitwhitegal.com. I'm going to be sending out an email either tonight or tomorrow. Bye guys, thank you for joining.